Alright, hey internet, this is Chaz. This is Dan. And this is the Wine of Serious Business Show, episode 86. Uh, yep. Kind of a silly show here. We've got some big paper bags. We're doing a blind budget Pinot from around the world. Uh, super budget. So, yeah. so one of our friends, um, super budget. Liz Calderon, thanks for the tip, sent us an email uh, when Grocery Outlet was having the sale. She's been telling me for a while, like, yeah, you should check out the wine at Grocery Outlet. I've heard other people say they like to buy wine there. It's pretty cheap. I hadn't been. I didn't really know. Wow, it's cheap. And they had a sale where it was 20% off of everything in the store. So I've got three Pinot Noirs from around the world. How much they cost? Oregon, California, and New Zealand. What do you think? I don't so get What's the cost of the whole lineup on the table? $4 each. Uh, darn near, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like under $15 for this whole show. Probably, holy crap. Like, right up there with the cheapest shows we've ever done. Ever done. Yeah. And Pinot Noir, right? Like, it's not often you see Pinot Noir in 10 bucks. So if any of these are, are even remotely enjoyable, like, it'll be a big QPR win. Exactly. So, right, featuring Grocery Outlet, Blind Tasty Pinot Noirs from around the world. We need to make fools of ourselves trying to guess where they're from. Um, when you're going into wine number one, I know what the tops look like, so I've got to make Chaz pour it, so I don't know, I don't know which bottle's which. Yeah, I'm pouring it off camera, this is, yeah, wine number one. Wine number one, um, out of a paper bag. And, uh, what else, we were thinking about doing, like, the best of Dundee Hill, I did Dundee Hill's passport a little while ago, picked out some good stuff I want to share with you guys on the show, but Wednesdays are tough for Chaz, so uh, we're going to put that back a couple weeks. Joey Shear, thanks for saying hi when out at White Rose, it was good to see you. Yeah, I, I prefer not to do deeper and more intellectual wines when I have yeah, haven't slept much. Yeah. All right. Okay. Wow. Pinot Noir. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's like not bad. Yeah, kind of light and fresh. Strawberries, cherries. I, yeah, it's got some like strawberry candy fruit kind of thing. Yeah. Going, like, maybe even like a little bit Twizzlers sort of play. You know, a little, little can A little bit of leather. A little bit, yeah. Pleasant. Boy, yeah. I guess Oregon by the nose. Even. Yeah, true. Or California. Could be California. It could, could be at this price point. Who knows? Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't guess Oregon so much on the palate. Definitely that candified flavors coming in a little bit there. Strawberries. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, big time sort of like a strawberry jam without the heaviness or sweetness. Like this is a, a, really, on. a really light wine on the palate. Um, there's enough acidity. A little bit of say sort of zing on the sides of my tongue. Man, this is just sort of easy, nice strawberry flavors. Not any sort of secondary, tertiary, anything. Just easy strawberry drinking. A little bit of bitterness on the back end for me. Mm -hmm. um, right. and, and, and he hits it, right? Like the, the jam is so dead on. It's not thick and syrupy like jam, but it's got that the little edge. bit of that sweet, sweeter yeah, sweet flavor. Edge, yeah. And, uh, you know, a little bit, little bit heavier feel on the fruit. And incredibly simple. Um, yes, very simple. Drinkable. There's a green. There is like sort of a little bit of a sharpness on the finish mm -hmm. of this. The more now I've taken like two or three sips, getting a little more of that zing on the finish. It's not. I was thinking like, oh, this is kind of like nice, light, balanced, easy Pinot. There is a little sharpness going on here that's sort of detracting me a little bit. That said, the flavors initially are nice. That's all right. So to me, this is pretty near like a textbook. 80 point wine, right? Like, pretty easy drinking, a little bit of something that will maybe 80 points minus, right? I'm a, I'm a little I'm a little back on it. Nothing compelling about this at all. Honestly, you know, if it was on the table, if that's what everyone was drinking that night, I'd drink it. If yeah. there was this sitting next to the beer, I'd probably go for the beer. Yep. So, completely agree. Like, it, it's drinkable, and it's, it's not offensive, yep. but um, completely uninteresting, and... Yeah, yeah, I would. I wouldn't go back to it. Right, I'd have a glass, move on. Yeah, so, and that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, move on. Right. Number two, paper bag. Yeah, okay. stay away from it. Yeah, I know. don't look. I got yeah. Try and a little darker in glass. Seconds. This one's me. Oh yeah, definitely. All right. So beautiful sunny day in Oregon. Today. Oh yeah. Yeah, I decided. Uh, typically, this is the start of my weekend. I decided to just stay awake. So, been up and enjoying this beautiful day. It's been awesome. I've been Fantastic. At, I've been at my desk all day. Wow, this yeah. sucks. It smells horrible. <laughs> <laughs> this smells positively wretched. Kind of like woody, right? There's like a woody note. Like some dried cherries, maybe. 
we'll yeah, just give you a that's what it smells here. like. It smells like a bag of like dried cranberries or dried cherries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sort of, but like the plastic bag, like there's, like you just cracked the plastic bag on one of those and you stuck your nose and took a big whiff. A little bit of wood chips. Oh, the yeah, there's definitely some like oak that's not integrated with the flavors at all. It's like some, yep, been soaking, soaking oak chips. What is it, like a herbal thing on there too? That's probably just a little bit of the heat coming up actually. Yeah, there is a bit of alcohol coming out of the nose. Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't smell appetizing. Really light when it starts out. There's almost nothing here. It's like some dark cherry flavors, but they're super faint. Um, oh, crazy. Late, I'm getting like a little bit of a oak thing on the back of my palate. A little like vanilla-y kind of buttery that then becomes a little bit bitter. Uh, crazy. Where is this wine? It's like not wine. It doesn't... It hits it's like water. water. Yeah, it really has like sort of no texture when it comes across the palate initially. It's... You're like, hey, where's the flavor? A little bit of acidity building up. Yeah, I'm getting like some dark cherries, but they're they're super faint. Which I guess you know probably probably there's a there's a point to that here, right? To sell wine this cheap, a lot of times your yields are enormous. Which, Maybe you got the garden hose in in the tanks yeah. a little bit, you know, yeah. pumping up the volume. Who knows? Um, but man, this is just like like Dan was saying. It's got some some cherry skin thing going on there. But man, the initial attack, there's just no attack. It's like very, very faint. There, as, as I've had a few more sips, I mean, there's a sort of like dark cherry skin sort of build. There is a little bit of acidity, but man, it's just like, it's, it's, this could be anything. Like, it's just like, yeah. like I mean, it's just wine. This is, this is wine, right? This is in the most, yeah, yeah, in the most, in the most generic Generic sense. Typical sense. Non-offensive sense. It's not like, yeah. this, like this is horrible, but for someone that I think if you're watching this show, you're more interested in wine than this, this is something you would just not, you would, you might be polite and, and finish the glass, but you would, it's, ugh. I'd rather drink ham. 65 points. So. 78. I, it's, yeah. It's not offensive, that's the problem. It's 65 points and it's not that it's, it's bad, it's just. It's not boring. Fair. For those of you who sin. like to give us a hard time about scoring everything the same all the time, you can, we'll, we'll link this show a few times over. We what, did we for, what did we score the first one? I went 80 minus on it. Do you remember? Oh, we both went 80 on it. Right? Yeah. All right. So. Come on in. It's fine. We got a, we got a visitor. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So, wine number three. Film? Yep. Why don't we show the look? Yep. Not well, looking. Another, another dark one here. All right. Looking good. I like it. This is a bright red. Whereas the previous one was a little dark. I like the color. Yeah, I like the color. The color is beautiful. Um, man, I don't even know what the fuck these that one is. That's. I'm yeah. gonna guess. Well, I'm all waiting. We'll find out. Yeah. So. A little candified on the nose here for this sure. This is Oregon. This is Oregon. It's got the funky butt smell. It's got a little bit of that funky butt. A little like uh, sorry if we want tulip petals or something yeah. like that. No, no, it's got a little bit of that sort of dirty um, cow pie barnyard scent. I'm not getting it. No, no. Hmm. It's there, dude. Got the sensitive nose today. I'd go, I'd go more towards like red, earthy. It's got a little cow pie. A little bit, but uh, I'm gonna guess the nose is all right, actually. Not right? Tasty. A little earthy, a little, this little smells, nice fruit. This smells good. Yeah, yeah. This, this is this is a little bit exciting almost, and, and it. When you're talking these price points, yeah. I'm like getting... We'll see what it tastes like, though. Again, super easy on the palate, right? Like, light, clean, all the way across. Not a whole lot going on, but definitely no, more than the last one. More than the last one. Um, I'm taking another sip of it before I go the full. Again, it's crazy. There's almost nothing on contact, but then I'm getting a little bit of strawberry yeah. on the sides. Really light. Yeah. Another one that's really light. Like the intensity of number one is is the strongest so far. And man, this is like another one that I wish I wish it had more intensity. Because the flavors that are going on are nice. There's a little bit of stemminess, a little bit of earthiness. Um, the acidity is kind of like hitting the back sides of my mouth later, which I really like that sensation. Yeah. But it's just But yeah. it's got it's got big gaps. Yeah. You know, big gaps in flavor. It's got 
almost no body whatsoever. Like it has more body than number two, but that's still not enough. Yeah, the acidity sticks around, right? The, the you know the I guess I can feel the heat a little bit, but it's pretty well balanced. Yeah, this is almost on the verge of being interesting, but it's it's yeah. it's still not. The really nose smells positively delicious. I love the way it smells. It's bright red fruit, a little bit of earth, a little bit of that poopy earth. Yeah, just a little. Yeah, it's a little good. bit of cherry skin. There's a, yeah, a little off on the back end. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 80 points even on this one, making it my favorite of the flight. Um, but still, but still not really compelling. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The, the red fruit flavors do stick around. Yeah. And the acidity. And this is tough because, while I didn't positively like the palette on on number one. I liked the intensity levels more, and I liked kind of where it was going with its flavors, um, or its sort of mm -hmm. texture. This, if this thing just had more texture, the flavors there are good. It just needs more intensity and, and more flavor. And obviously, four dollars, you know, what do you? What do right, you think? right. So it would have been a big surprise to get so me on this. I'm gonna go 78 points. Just it just sits just a little lower for me than number one. Um, I'm going to still guess Oregon on that one, and I'm going to guess New Zealand and California. The picks are, are tough here, and, I, and I've recently screwed up uh, New Zealand wine thinking it was from Oregon. I was, I was really confident it was from Oregon. Wow. So I know that they can be, that they can be really close to each other. So, so why not? To keep things interesting, I'm going to stick with my first impression. I'm going to go with Oregon here, New Zealand here, California here. What were you again? Um, Oregon, New Zealand, California. All right, and I'm Oregon, California, New Zealand. Okay, so I think this is Oregon. You think this is California? Yes. Neither. We're all the it's whole thing is off. The whole thing's off. Yeah, we already we both blew the show. All right. So 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 what is this? <laughs> this is the uh, Sacred Hill Central Otago Pinot Noir from 2008 from New Zealand. 13.5 alcohol. Um, yeah, not bad at four dollars a bottle. I yeah. would say of this lineup, it's your probably your best pick. I would go with I would go with this one, but for me. but yeah, but it, you know if if you're either dying either of these two, wine, yeah, yeah, exactly. If you're dying to have four dollar Pinot Noir, well, you know. So I thought this was California. I could still I said, be right here, I guess. I said thought, this was New Zealand. Okay. Yeah, I believe it was wrong. Okay. No, that's Oregon. Son of Neither bitch. one of us thought that was Son Oregon. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Crazy, and we really did not like that one. Um, no. Nope. So. Not yeah, sorry about that. So this that. this is we should tell what it is. It's yeah. the uh, Poverty Road Pinot Noir. 2007 from the Lamp Valley, 13.7 uh, alcohol. Uh, come visit us at Cherry Hill Winery. I'm sorry, I just don't like this wine. Yeah, that price point. Yeah, not hitting it. So, so here's our California bottle. Yeah, Look at that. that might be the lightest bottle of California Pinot Noir I've yeah, ever no seen. Shit, right? Um, um, you can see right through it. 2009 Floodplain from the Arroyo Grande Valley, Central Coast. 2009 Pinot Noir, 14. Three alcohol. I'm surprised this was coming off so light with that high alcohol. Yeah, um, there's a little bit of it, but I think this was hotter on the palate. Then in and bottled in Napa. Whatever. Yep, yeah, so, so nothing too compelling. That's Grocery Outlet's bargain Pinot Noir off. Right, so unfortunately, stick, stay away from the Poverty Road, but at $4, if you're really starting for some Pinot and you really and you shop there regularly, check these two out. You know, That's not, a good point. Not horrible. You know, yeah. Like $4. We're talking $4 here, right? Yeah. So, so obviously the points, the points brackets kind of come down a little bit. You sort of expect a little less. These two weren't bad. For sub ten, the rascal is this head and shoulders. This was a little offensive. Um, all right, uh, question of the day. We were talking about this. This is dirt cheap. Obviously, spreading our point scale out a little bit more. Um, good. And when we're talking about doing that Dundee Hill show, that's going to be more up in the forty dollar range. That's that's a little more expensive. What's the sweet spot for you guys as far as our shows? What sort of price points would you like to see us focus on? That's our question of the day. Good question. Yeah. See you next week. Bye.